Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to handle the exceptions at the action level by using action level exception handling. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn about block level exception handling. What is block level exception handling? In a particular block, if I'm having multiple or a set of actions, if you have, in that case, if it is going to be throwing an error at the block level, we want to handle that exceptions by using block level exceptions. How can we go ahead and do that? If you see on my screen, I'm having on the left hand side, I'm having an actions, right? Let expand flow control. And after that, you will find on block error. This is the one which we will use it to set an exception at the block level. Now, if you see, I'm going to drag and drop this action onto the workspace. I'm going to give the name over here as SQL block, and then I'm going to click on save. Now, these are all the actions I'm going to move into the block. Now, I'm going to set the exception handling over here as block level. How can we go ahead and do that? Over here, I'm going to select the properties by double clicking on that. Now, if you see over here, I'm having the parameters as is that we are having at the action level. But over here, only we can apply one set of exception handling rules to the entire block of actions. All right. Now, if you see over here, I want to throw an error or continue flow, which are we are having the same for as is for the action level. Now, if you see for the continue flow run, I'm having go to end of the block or go to nest action, repeat action, go to the beginning of the block. These are all the properties we have whenever we are having continue flow run. All right. Now, whenever an error throws, it will use, we will use throw an error and then we'll set the properties over here for the new rule by clicking on new rule. You can see over here, set a variable or run subflow. I will show you an example to run a subflow when an error comes. I'm going to select run subflow and then I'm going to use run subflow as close SQL connection. And then I'm going to save it by clicking on save. Now, what will happen? Whenever an error occurred in this entire block, that is SQL block, wherever the action fails, it will goes to the subflow that is close SQL connection, and then it will execute that close SQL connection. All right. This is the block level exception handling. Now we'll see that how we are going to handle this block level exception handling. Before running the flow, I'm going to put a breakpoint over here to make you understand. Now let's run the flow to see the block level exception handling. All right, let's execute the flow. Now, if you see over here, this entire block is going to be executing. That is inside the block that we are having it, right? Now, we have opened the SQL connection. Now, it is going to be executing execute SQL statement. Now, let's click on run nest action so that it will throw some error over here, right? So, once it has been thrown an error, it is going to be executing the subflow that is close the SQL connection. And then once it has been successfully completed, it is going to be executing the nest statements and then it is going finally, it's going to an end. Why it is going to be executing the nest statement? Because of we are having the execute SQL statements, we are having the action level properties over there so that it is going to be nest statement and then finally, it is going to be closing the block. All right, this is the block level exception handling. I hope you understand how to set the properties for the exception handling. And also we have seen how to work action level as well as block level exception handling as part of this module. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.